I'm fine, thanks. How are you? Well, you mean in the sense that it is uh, more dramatic than the films that I've been doing. Yes, that's true. Uh, I've never really been concerned about playing purely comedy, although I've been identified, as far as films go, mostly with comedies. Uh, I just am concerned at any time that I'm going to consider a part uh, uh, for the part itself and the people uh, uh, that I'm going to work with, rather than is it a drama, is it a romance, is it a comedy, etc. Well, I don't know if it's usual. We have two things, a piano and a pool table, or at least I always do whenever I can, because I found that in Hollywood when you're shooting, uh, and probably a lot of people don't realize it, you can go for three quarters of an hour to an hour sometimes in between shots or setups, as we call it, because it takes that long to set the camera correctly and to fix the lights correctly. And in the meantime, when you're inside these huge barns that we shoot in, the sound stages, you can get very tired and innovated. You sort of sit, you know, for about an hour and then suddenly, boom, magic, magic time and you're supposed to be on and uh, with high energy. And I found that playing pool or playing the piano or doing anything like that, keeping occupied, keeps your energy up so that you're not fighting in the scene and to try and get your energy back up to the level where it was an hour before when you were halfway through the scene. Edwards. Yes, it, it's much uh, more difficult uh, than shooting on a sound stage because of that. Usually, uh, it's it's a necessity if you have a prediction. Uh, a prediction. If you have a picture of any production, uh, it's necessary very often, by the very nature of the beast, to go where the script demands. In other words, if we're shooting in the, with a background of San Francisco and we have a several million dollar production, then we jolly well got to go to San Francisco and show it and use it rather than use a painted backdrop or something. But you not only naturally will have crowds around you, which is distracting, but you get noise, uh, loss of sunlight, which you can control naturally in a sound stage by the use of lights alone. And uh, in other words, mechanically, it's much more difficult and expensive to shoot outside than in. Well, uh, I got banged up pretty good in this thing, actually, because a great deal of it is rather physical. So you have to do it. You can't use a double, and you have to do it. And uh, I pulled a few cartilages, and I think I came close to a triple hernia or something. I don't know. I've got fingers all banged up. I don't know. You can't see the blood blisters anymore. But I got a little banged up, but I think it's worth it. Yes, and by pure dint of spirit, I managed to blow my lines about 25 times in a row so that we had to keep on doing it all over again. Loved it. She's a very beautiful and very talented and very lovely person. Unfortunately married, but... Well, um... My biggest plan is to be a leading young star. I love that word, young. Got to stay with it. Uh, I think someday I would like to direct, probably. I, the problem is that I guess at most, uh, sometime or other, all actors want to direct. And it's funny, you know, the better the directors you work with, the more you learn. And you would think that would be a great incentive and a great background to prepare you for directing. But the problem is that when you work with someone like Billy Wilder or John Ford, or in this instance, Blake Edwards or Dick Quine, whom I've worked with several times, these, I think, are the top people in our profession. And I've been terribly fortunate to work with them. And uh, instead of being elated by what I've learned and figuring that I could now maybe direct. Instead, I look at them and see what they do and what they accomplish with their direction and with a camera, and I say, I could never do it. So I don't know uh, how soon I will be in a frame of mind or have the guts, let's say, to try and do it. But I would like to. Thanks very much and goodbye.